hadees of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that changes everything it is true that people have been thinking that kiyama is very near in every generation the signs of kiyama have been coming true for so long but nobody ever knew when will the last hour occur there is a saying of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam which changes everything which gives us goosebumps which must shake us to rethink about everything and to rethink what the time we are living in and the signs that are appearing today and that hadith my brothers and sisters my elders and my youngers is that Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that I hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that my ummah will be given half day. The companions, the Sahaba of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, O oh, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Nabi Allah, Ya Muhammad or Rasulullah, what does this mean? What does this half day time span of the ummah mean? The Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, it means 500 years. And as we all know that one day, one day in the timeline, in the time of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 1000 years in our time. One day in Allah's time is 1000 years in our time. So in accordance to that, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied that this means 500 years. That this ummah can be given 500 years, a half day time span. Allah Lama Suyuti Rahimahullah, he has been a famous scholar of hadith. He described and explained this hadith and he wrote that this hadith means a half day after one day. That this ummah will be given 500 more years after 1000 years of time span. I hope I'm making sense. So it means that the time span of this ummah will be around 1500 years. And my brothers and sisters, this must give us goosebumps and this must shake our hearts and this must shake us from within and we must realize and pay attention to the time we are living. So if we have been able to understand this hadith well enough, and if Allama Suyuti, if what Allama Suyuti rahimahullah said is correct, which certainly is, then my brothers and sisters, there is no time left. There is not even 70 years left for the age of this ummah. The time given to this ummah has actually come to an end. We have so little time. All of the minor signs of Qiyama I have been able to find have been fulfilled already. Some people had questions and somebody mentioned that there has been many, some minor signs which they have not been able to find. And one of them they said was the appearance of the yellow banners. In Kitab al Fitan by, by Nuaim bin Hamad, you would find a sign of Qiyama that yellow banners would appear as a minor sign of Qiyama. So somebody mentioned that this, this sign may not have been fulfilled yet. But my brothers and sisters, if you recall, in Egypt a few years ago, when President Morsi's government was overthrown and the military rule took over under the leadership of the current military ruler of Egypt, Mr. Sisi. Then you must remember that the supporters of President Morsi, they came out with the yellow signs, they came out with the yellow banners, and the banners had the sign in the form of four fingers, just like this, and it was written Rabia underneath that sign. And those were the yellow banners that appeared in Egypt. So the sign of yellow banners have already been fulfilled as well. Then there is another difficult sign to find, which at least I I was the one who had very little expectation that it would be fulfilled so quickly. That hadith says that some tribes of Arab would return to shirk, would return to worshipping the idols. And when this hadith passed through my eyes, I was like, there is a lot of time before Qiyamah. 
That was my feeling. Al Harmain Al Sharifain, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Kaabatullah is in Arab. The Masjid of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Masjid al Nabawi is also in Arab. And many and most Arabs are still very practicing when it comes to Islam. So I was like, there must be a lot of time before Qiyamah because Arab would be so backward and Arabs would become return to Jahiliya in such a fashion that some of them would start worshipping idols. I was not expecting this sign to come true anytime soon. But my brothers and sisters, very few days after that, we found a news from UAE that a mandir has been inaugurated in UAE by, by the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. And that mandir is one of the biggest mandir. Mandir, if you guys don't know, if someone doesn't know, is a place of worship of idols by Hindus. A huge mandir has been built in UAE by the government of UAE. And the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, was invited to inaugurate that mandir. Not only that, but the hosts, but the recipients and the hosts of Modi inaugurated it. But also, Nauzu Billahi Min Zalik joined the inauguration by worshipping the idols, Nauzu Billahi Min Zalik. So my brothers and sisters, the sign of Qiyamah that I have been expecting to, 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 to be fulfilled in far future has already been fulfilled some years ago. The point is that all of the minor signs of Qiyamah have, have already been fulfilled. So my brothers and sisters, this is the time for four major signs of Qiyamah. And let me repeat which are the four major signs. The first one is the appearance of Imam al-Mahdi. And the second one, my brothers and sisters, my children and my elders, is the coming out of the Jal, the Antichrist. And the third one is the coming back of the son of Mary, Nabi Isa alayhi salam, son of Maryam, Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And the fourth one is the coming out of Gog and Magog. There are two other major things that would take place before Qiyamah. But I'm not calling them the signs of Qiyamah on purpose. Because according to the hadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when those two occur, there would be no returning. There would be no astaghfar. There would be no forgiveness. The one who is virtuous would be virtuous. The one who is sinful would be sinful. The one who is mu'min would be mu'min. The one who is kafir, infidel would be infidel. There would be no chance of accepting Islam then. Those two major events before Qiyamah are number one, the rise of the sun from the west. And the other one is the coming out of Dabatullars, an animal that would come out of the earth and that animal would stamp people according to their their iman that animal dabbatullars would stamp the mu'mins and the kafirs so th those two signs we can call them the occurrences of qiyamah itself because there would be no repentance after that so my brothers and sisters this is to remind you all including myself this is to wake us all up to the fact that we are living in the time that there is little or no time before Kyama. All of the minor signs of Kyama have already been fulfilled and this is the time of the major signs. And this is no time to make fun of the callers towards Allah. There is no time to make fun of these signs of Kyama. And this is the time to ponder upon this awakening and wake up to the fact that this is the time for the first major sign to appear and that first major sign is the appearance of Imam al-Mahdi my brothers and sisters and many of you have been so blessed Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah ala zalik many of you have been so blessed to have seen and met the true Imam al-Mahdi in your dreams and when Allah wills inshallah Allah will make people like themselves and us and all of us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give us the recognition of the true Imam al-Mahdi that we will be able to recognize him, meet him and help him and support him.